Hi everyone, my name is Bobby Brannigan. I'm the Director of International Admissions for Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University at our Daytona Beach, Florida campus. Um, I'm an alum of Embry-Riddle, um, so I graduated with my Master's of Science and Management uh, from Embry-Riddle Worldwide back in 2020. So Embry-Riddle um, Aeronautical University is the world's oldest and largest fully accredited institution that focuses on aviation and aerospace. We have two residential campuses in the United States. One is in Daytona Beach, Florida. And the other is in Arizona, in Prescott, Arizona. Um, we have a worldwide online campus as, long, or as well as a Singapore campus. Um, there's different advantages to each one of our residential campuses in the United States. The Daytona Beach, Florida campus is located about a mile away from the Atlantic Ocean. In Florida, it has great weather year round. Um, it's very tropical. We are located uh, on the Daytona Beach International Airport, so we utilize the same runways as um, airlines such as American Airlines, Delta Airlines, um, and a lot of regional carriers as well. In the Arizona campus, um, it's located in the Bradshaw Mountains at the foothills of the mountains. Um, it was named the cleanest air in the entire southwestern United States. Um, the small campus community, about 3,000 students, um, does allow for a lot of that one-on-one -on -one interaction. Um, you get to know all of your uh, peers and your faculty as well. Um, virtually the same aircraft um, in the aeronautical science or professional pilot program is utilized at each campus. Um, Arizona does have a little bit better flying weather year-round because it is at altitude, so um, you're, you're able to log those hours a little bit easier, um, as well as less uh, you know, crowded airspace. Um, Daytona Beach, Florida does have a little bit of a crowded airspace due to all of the local flight schools. Um, Arizona, our flight line is located about five miles off campus. It's great flying weather um, and you're able to, to fly a little bit faster and get you through your program a little bit quicker there. Between our two residential campuses in the United States, the one in Daytona Beach, Florida and Prescott, Arizona, students are able to transfer uh, between campuses. So depending on the degree program, they're able to transfer between from the Arizona campus to the Florida campus. Um, the only caveat to that is the aeronautical science program or the professional pilot program. So once students begin the flight program in Arizona, they're going to have to complete uh, the remainder of their program there. Um, however, if students begin at the Florida campus and they're not satisfied or they want to go to the Arizona campus, they're able to transfer um, to the Arizona campus as well. And for many other majors, um, it's a transferability, probably you know, within the first couple of years. Um, after that, um, we'll have to talk to the uh, different academic advisors. So Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University is often referred to as the Harvard of the sky. Time Magazine actually gave us that name back in the 1950s. Um, this has to do with anything related to aviation and aerospace. So like I said, we're the world's oldest and largest fully accredited institution that focuses on aviation and aerospace. If you want to build it, uh, maintain it, fly it, design it, we got it. So the uh, we work uh, directly in the industry, in many different industries, um, with our different industry partners. So um, if you want the best of the best in the top labs and facilities, the top faculty, instructors, um, you know, the top quality of education, then Embry-Riddle um, is it. So our majors uh, vast, um, are vast and range from uh, anything between aviation, aeronautical sciences, aerospace, we have computers and technology, uh, cyber intelligence and security, um, and we have business programs as well. So our most popular majors include aerospace engineering, um, we have the aeronautical science, which is the fixed wing uh, professional pilot program. Our uh, civil engineering program is very popular as well, um, and then business administration because we have specific business administration in aviation. Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, we're not just a flight school, we do offer other aviation related degree programs such as Aviation Business Administration, where you can go into airport management, airline management, um, aviation finance as well. Um, we do have unmanned or uncrewed aircraft systems engineering, uncrewed aircraft systems science. Um, so you can enter into those and sometimes they do come with an FAA license. We do have aviation maintenance science. So if you wanted to become an airframe or power plant technician, we do offer that program as an associate degree. So a two-year degree program or a four-year bachelor degree program as well. Along with all of our majors, we have about 80 total majors. Um, you can declare one of our over 90 different minors. So at the uh, Prescott campus, we have the first college of security 
security and intelligence in the entire United States. So you can declare um, uh, global security and intelligence studies as a minor. You can go into computer science, business administration, uh, different foreign language if you wanted to learn, say, Arabic or Chinese. Um, or you can go into anything from interdisciplinary studies to meteorology to forensics. Um, so you name it, we probably have it for you. So once students graduate from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, um, you know, the, the sky is literally not the limit, right? So they can do anything in the space and aeronautical and aviation realm. Um, we have over 100 industry partners that come to our campuses every fall and every spring. So they look for our students specifically um, for many different areas of the industry. So they could go into aviation business administration, airport management, airline finance, um, they could become a professional pilot, um, typically, you know, right after graduation, most of our degree programs are STEM eligible um, for that extension. So they can work in the United States up to three years after they graduate on their F1 student visa. Um, we do offer um, the opportunity to um, get their H1B visa as a certified flight instructor with Embry-Riddle as well. Um, so it just depends on where they want to go and what they want to do um, in their degree program. At our Embry-Riddle uh, career fairs that we host every fall and every spring, we have over 100 of our industry partners that come, such as JetBlue Airlines, Raytheon Technologies, Boeing, uh, Samsung, Microsoft will come, um, Allegiant Air. So a lot of the regional carriers will come looking specifically for our students as well. And sometimes they come um, looking for students that are not in a field of study that you would think. So Rockwell Collins um, was just recently at one of our career fairs and as they're an aerospace uh, firm, um, they actually uh, hired all of our software engineers. So thinking about transferable skills and different types of degree programs, um, you know, in the industry um, is definitely something that our industry partners look for. Yeah, so Embry-Riddle is very supportive of um, international students, specifically Korean students as well. Um, so we do have a career services uh, department on campus. So they host um, mock interview sessions, um, they help with resume writing, um, they host the career services um, expo, career expo, um, every fall and every spring, as I mentioned. Um, and so that allows students to have that one-on-one -on -one time with potential employers. Um, all of our faculty are basically from the industry. So they used to be hiring managers, used to be CFOs, CEOs. Um, so they have a lot of that knowledge and a lot of the connections um, in the industry for our students. Class sizes are small, about 20 to 22 students per class. So that one-on-one -on -one time um, with faculty uh, really does help because then they get to know the faculty a little bit better. Um, internships opportunities you know, can come up throughout the year as well. Um, and so there, there's a lot of different opportunities for students and a lot of support. Um, we do offer uh, partial merit scholarships based on high school GPA and then the SAT or ACT test score for first time incoming students that just graduated high school. Um, if you're a transfer student, then you're eligible for scholarship based on your transfer GPA. So scholarships for first time students can range from $3,000 up to about $16,000 per year. Scholarships for transfer students can range from about $3,000 to about $8,000 per year. We do also offer Women of Excellence Award. So if there's a student that has a 3.0 GPA from high school um, and is a female, then you are um, eligible for a $5,000 Women of Excellence Scholarship. And currently there's a $5,000 Men in Business Scholarship at our Daytona Beach, Florida campus um, for any male that has a 3.0 GPA from high school and is going into a business program. For Korean students and families that are thinking of joining Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University um, to reach their educational goals, I think that it's very important to be very um, interested uh, and passionate about the aviation and aeronautical world. Um, every one of our degree programs has some sort of an aviation or aeronautical twist to it. Uh, whether you go into business administration, whether you go into computer science, or um, you go into flying airplanes. So I think come in um, to Embry-Riddle with an open mind. Um, just know that you're going to feel um, very safe and secure on campus as well. And our international student groups on campus are very strong. Um, so we have a Korean Student Association as well, um, a large alumni network back here in Korea. So I think it'll feel like you are home away from home um, and able to return um, and be successful.